You know what they say about getting the band back together? This right here is an opportunity to do exactly that. Because today what I wanted to do was to hop on board the hype train. This is kind of a classic style LEGO Rocks video, where instead of talking about something that is happening at the moment, we will talk about the hype and what we can be excited for in the short term future. Because if everything works out in this particular way, it could be a huge, huge opportunity for everybody involved. Today we are talking about Montreal Canadiens forward Cole Caulfield, because when it comes to his season, you could very well say that what we have seen out of Caulfield on the ice is, dare I say, disappointing? Comparative to the expectations, Caulfield is the same Montreal Canadiens small forward 5'7", 174 right-handed guy signed to the end of 2031, making $7.85 million a year. Caulfield had posted up a career high in points and assists this season with 62 points in 79 games played, but his goal scoring actually has taken a bit of a step back. You see, this year he has 25 goals, which is not bad, but last year Cole Caulfield had 26 goals in about 30 fewer games played. So he really slowed down in terms of his overall goal production, but there are some very legitimate reasons as to why things went down the way they did. The fact that Caulfield was recovering from shoulder surgery, the fact that this was the kind of thing where even if you're recovered, quote-unquote, and you're eligible and healthy enough to play, you can't be at your full 100% goal-scoring, puck-shooting capacity like you had been in the past immediately after that surgery. It's going to take a little bit of time, like we had seen with Austin Matthews, for example. He had wrist problems, and upon his return to the Toronto Maple Leafs lineup, he posted up a 40-goal season, which was seen by many people as a disappointing year. Either way, Cole Caulfield has been an impactful Montreal Canadian this season, but this right here, heading into the 2024 World Hockey Championships, this could be a prime opportunity for Caulfield to get the band together. Because we had ourselves this tweet made by Eric Engels from a few days ago talking about how Cole Caulfield expressed a desire to represent the USA at the World Championship of Hockey once the season is over. And provided that he's healthy, he will have that opportunity. Now, there's a bigger conversation to have about the other guys in the Canadians. Oh, Suzuki, Slavkovsky, these guys could all head over to the tournament and play off against each other. And it'd be nice to see the stars colliding and seeing these Canadians play off against each other. It's always nice to see some international competition, right? But the reason I'm saying that this is a huge opportunity for Cole Caulfield is because of another tweet posted here by Andy Strickland from earlier yesterday. Additional players expected to represent the USA at the upcoming World Championships include Johnny Gaudreau, Cole Caulfield, Tage Thompson, Luke Hughes, Shane Pinto, in addition to the names I reported yesterday, which included Brady Kachuk, Seth Jones, and Trevor Zegras. Now, I don't want to say that this is an opportunity for Cole Caulfield to maybe, I don't know, spill in a word or two for Kent Hughes and his squad, but seeing what these guys were able to do in the US NTTB program of 2018-19, might I remind you, this was a fantastic, fantastic team where Cole Caulfield scored himself 100 points in 64 games played. He had bested the record for goals in the NTTP's history, which was a record held by, I believe it was Patrick Kane, I'm pretty sure Austin Matthews had like the season record, and Cole Caulfield went out there and broke it. So, yeah, he was pretty good. And if you talk about some of the guys on this team and you look at the top six scorers, you'll see some very familiar names. Jack Hughes was first overall, followed up by Caulfield, Zegras, Boldy, Cam York was a defenseman in there, and then Alex Turcotte also made himself known on this team too. That top line in particular, Hughes and Caulfield with whichever winger you wanted to attach to it, Trevor Zegers could play the wing, Matt Boldy also had that responsibility sometimes, let's just say for the sake of making things easy, Caulfield, Hughes, and Zegers. That is a crazy good line. And part of one of the best junior teams we have ever seen in hockey history to boot. Now, for Jack Hughes, we all recognize that he is not going to play for Team USA at the upcoming championships. He just had surgery. He's going to be out for a while. There's no way he plays. 
But for Trevor Zegras, I thought this would be a really interesting conversation to have because with Zegras heading over to a USA squad which will boast a whole bunch of his friends, like, not even just the NTDP guys from 2018-19 that are on this list, but everybody else. I mean, we know how close the NTDP guys are with Brady Kachuk, for example. Shane Pinto is another American who is in that age range. Luke Hughes is the brother of Jack and Quinn Hughes, whom Caulfield and Zegras are super close with. Just being able to put all these guys together in the same locker room once again... It's going to be a great opportunity, not only for these guys to play with each other, but to get a little bit of a camaraderie thing going on here. As I had said, I don't want to be the guy who spills any secret information. I'm just some dude on the internet that's going out there and listing what it is that he thinks. But would it not be interesting for Cole Caulfield to maybe talk with Trevor Zagras a little bit as to what it's like being a Montreal Canadian? The reason we're bringing this up, of course, is because there have been trade rumors linking Zagras to the Habs for months now. Ever since his season went awry and he stopped scoring as many points as he did, he had 65 points last year. This year, he's scoring at roughly a 30, 40 point pace. It's a lot worse than what Zegras is used to. So with Trevor Zegras already being in an unfavorable spot with Anaheim and the fact that they've got all these extra forwards, Cutter Goche, Leo Carlson, Mason McTavish, that are all supposed to be top caliber and who don't really play the same style that Trevor Zegras does, would there be some sort of an option here for Cole Caulfield to reunite with his buddy, for them to play on the same line like they had five years ago where they dominated every international game they had played, they dominated against NCAA teams that they had played and USHL junior teams that they had played the NTDP that year was stacked. And if you're interested in building that chemistry up again, place Cole Caulfield on a line with Trevor Zagras, get them that chemistry once more, and maybe Caulfield can be like, yeah, you know we can do this in Montreal too, right? There is an option here, a really big one, a huge opportunity for the Montreal Canadiens to maybe get a few extra nibbles in there. As to the potential seeds being planted into the mind of a Trevor Zegras. And of course, you could say, well, what about all the other players? You can apply this logic to every other player that's going to be on every other team. Like, what's stopping Yaroslavkovsky from going over to Team Slovakia and trying to convince Simon Nemec to come over? Like, what's the deal there? You don't need to bring this up like, well, yeah, I get it. Like, this is kind of an asinine video. But realistically, because the Canadians have been linked to Zegras this entire year, would it not be kind of funny for Cole Caulfield to go over to Team U? USA, reunite with his buddy who happens to be Zagros, and I don't know, maybe get things going a little bit. Who knows? Not to mention all the other great names that are also going to be there. Like, if Cole Caulfield gets paired on a line with Tage Thompson, that'd be so funny. Like, there's literally a foot difference in height between those two guys that it would be so jarring seeing those two side by side. Like, imagine Caulfield over to Tage for a one-timer on the power play or whatever. Like, that doesn't sound natural. It doesn't sound like it'd look good either. But it could be a possibility. If you wanted to go Gaudreau, Thompson, and Caulfield, that looks even crazier. Two tiny guys and a big giant. Like, the imagery would not fail to disappoint anybody. But, of course, I think that the best line to put out there if you wanted to get that NTDP connection would be Zegris with Caulfield. If not... Try to toss in, I don't know, somebody else. If Alex Turcott decides to go on the team, maybe put him there. If Jack Hughes is able to miraculously cover right away, then maybe put him there. But of course, he's probably not going to do that, so we'll see what happens. But for now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as to how the Montreal Canadiens have a huge, huge opportunity here, with both Zegras and Caulfield most likely heading over to the USA World Championship team, and how they'll probably be on the same line. At least... That's what we're hoping for, right? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.